Mom, what's that word? That says tortoise, Huggy. What's a tortoise? A tortoise is a very big turtle. And what's a hare? A hare is a kind of rabbit. Why don't they just call the story the turtle and the rabbit? <laughs> well, that's a very good question. Can we just read the story? <laughs> All right, then. One day, the hare was teasing her friend, the tortoise. And she wasn't being very nice. The boastful hare could run really, really fast. But the kind old tortoise was very, very slow. To be so slow, it must be sad. It must be very, very bad. The tortoise, he got pretty mad the day of the big, big race. Well, let's have a race, said he. You're too slow. You can't beat me. I can. You can't. Well, let's just see. The day of the big, big race. was stuck in glue the day of the big, big race. The hare, she laughed. Ho, ho, ho. That old tortoise is slow, slow, slow. I can't be beaten. No, no, no. The day of the big, big race. Poor old tortoise, sure enough, moved so slow and huffed and puffed. He was tired, but he was tough. The day of the big, big race. I am miles and miles ahead. I think I'll take a nap. She said in a carrot patch she made a bed. The day of the big, big race. Just five minutes, not a minute more. And it wasn't long before the boastful hair began to snore. The day of the big, big race. He was strong the day of the big, big race. I won't give up. No, no, no. His confidence began to grow. Come on, legs. Let's go, go, go. The day of the big, big race. Even when the hill was steep, still he climbed and still he creeped. And still the hare was fast asleep the day of the big, big race.
was very, very high. He came to a door in a dark, dark cloud with a sign that read, No Kids Allowed! Jack just walked straight through, straight through. Jack just walked straight through. Into a castle, the dark door led. And down the hallway, young Jack sped. A huge room he found. Then he heard a scary sound. Smell a boy by gosh by gum. That bad giant he boomed and boomed, and Jack went flying out of that room. Back the way he come, he come, back the way he come. After Jack the giant chased, he chased Jack all over the place when suddenly, hip hip hooray! Came Gigi and Noah to save the day. They froze that. The Lion and the Mouse, the Lion and the Mouse This is the story of the Lion and the Mouse Mouse was creeping through the woods And woke a sleeping lion Angrily, he grabbed that mouse She was scared and crying She said, if you let me go I'll help you someday soon you'll see When you need me I'll be there Tiny thing, what can you do for me? Tell you what, you made me laugh, so I will set you free. Thank you! Next day, Lion stalked his prey, but on his way back home, he walked into a trap, he was captured and I was wrong to laugh because you're small. If it weren't for you, I would not be here at all. The lion and the mouse, the lion and the mouse. Best friends forever, the lion and the mouse. The lion and the mouse, the lion and the mouse. Best friends forever, the lion. My house is made of straw. My house is made of sticks. And 
little pig now let me in let me in let me in not by the hair of my chinny chin chin no 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 oh yeah now i'm going to huff and puff huff and puff huff and puff now i'm going to huff and puff and blow your little house down oh no set the wolf Mmm, smells good. She grabbed a spoon, though she had no permission. Papa Bear's porridge, way too hot. Mama Bear's porridge, way too cold. Baby Bear's porridge, just right, just right, just right. After Goldie had her fill, she felt lazy and tired. In the living room, she spied chairs of three different sizes. They looked quite inviting, so Goldie thought she'd try them. Papa Bear's chair, way too hard. Mama Bear's chair, way too soft. Baby Bear's chair, just right, just right, just right. Just as gold he settled in that chair, broke into pieces. Gold he went upstairs and found three nice beds she could sleep in. They looked quite inviting, so Papa's bed she creeped in. Papa Bear's bed, way too hard. Mama Bear's bed, way too soft. Baby Bear's bed. Three bears came back home Soon as they stepped in They knew they were not alone Someone's been eating my porridge Growled Papa Someone's been eating my porridge 
Okay, said Mama. Someone's been eating my porridge. Cry, baby. And they ate it all up, ate it all up. They walked into the living room. And what do you think they noticed? Uh, someone's been sitting in my chair. Growled Papa. Someone's been sitting in my chair. Said Mama. Someone's been sitting in my chair. Cry, baby. And they broke in it up. Upstairs in their bedroom now. What do you think they noticed? <sighs> Someone's been sleeping in my bed. Growled Papa. Someone's been sleeping in my bed. Said Mama. Someone's been sleeping in my bed. Cried Baby. And there she is. There she is. Goldilocks woke up and saw three brown bears staring at her. She screamed, Help! Jumped out of bed and ran away. With the clatter down the stairs and through the door, Goldie's gone forevermore. Our three bears they scratched their heads, fixed the chair, and made the beds, and sat down to eat their porridge. And that is the story of the three bears. Yeah.